Hi there, welcome back to Studio 25. Just a wee quick video today. I'm just gonna I'm, I'm just gonna go over the updates on the van. Um, but a busy weekend last week. I think I posted a, a wee video. I was up at my pal's house in Abbey Moor. Uh, we also had a day out. Um, I went to the Scottish Deer Centre through past um, past Cooper in Fife, Scotland. A really good day out. Um, I'll actually post a few videos from that here. That was really good fun. Um, they're actually doing an incentive just now where they're trying to boost the visitors uh, by reducing the cost of going in. It used to be £12 an adult. Uh, they're now doing a pay as you feel is worth. Um, so yeah, you just bas it's basically a donation fee. Um, so you don't have to pay the full amount. You can pay a little bit extra if you like, if you've really enjoyed yourself. And it's a great incentive. It was def definitely worth it. It was so busy. Um, and I hope that that sort of keeps up. They started it as a, an incentive because of the rising cost of living so that families could still have a day out in the summer holidays. Um, but because it was so successful, they, they've decided to continue with that form of payment. Um, if other places would uh, do similar, then it would probably make life a lot easier for a lot of families to have some fun time as well. Um, but anyway, back to the van. Um, I'll not waffle about the deer centre too much. I've done quite a bit to the van despite the fact that I've been busy. Um, I'm going to give you a quick walk around. I've done some electrics. Um, I've done a little bit more of building in the kitchen unit. Obviously the bed and everything's not been touched. I've put in some lighting in the form of little LED strips. I'm sure you can actually see them on this wee clip here. They'll just run round and along the metal trim here. Um, and they're just USB input lights. You can change the colour of them. You know these fandango things that everybody's got in their vans. Uh, so I've got a set of them fitted up. They only go down halfway down the other side door, um, but there is a socket to plug in my other set. I'm not putting the other set in yet until I've got the bed built. And what I'm going to do is the bed unit's going to be storage underneath, and I'm going to have the next set of lights running around in there, just giving me a little bit of visibility when I'm sort of raking about and it's dark. Uh, so yeah, we'll have lights in the bottom cabinet that, that will form the bed. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll take it. I'll take the camera around and I'll, and I'll show you what I've done so far. Right, so just coming around the back here. Um, I've left the, uh, I've left this all pretty much open. We need ventilation in the microwave. I've boxed this in. Um, I think it looks quite tidy. Uh, and then I've got a little storage box at the bottom there next to my bottle of flash there. Now uh, this is quite a handy box here because it's so sturdy. Um, this came with the van, uh, but what I do is I just put it face down um, and it works as an ideal step uh, for people getting in and out the side. Just a, got a box of screws there blocking it, but there we are. Um, the gas is all fitted up. I've not done anything on the front side of this uh, unit here. I do want to put in a drawer um, and a cupboard access at both sides there. Uh, so we'll have the cupboard over there, a cupboard in there, and a drawer at the top. I'm obviously going to have to put a face in along here. Um, this will have to be tidied up because it's not particularly straight down the side of this cut. Now I use a jigsaw for all my cuts. I've not got a, a circular saw or whatnot. So I'm using that as an excuse for my cuts being uh, in the state that it looks like I did it drunk. But I didn't. I was sober. I promise. Anyway, underneath the seat here, I've talked about this before. The wiring is a bit of a shambles. But... I know what it all does, I'm going to tidy it up at a later date, but I've got the inverter in there, I've got the battery in there, and I've got my 12 volt system all wired up here, 
I saw this on another YouTuber's video where you uh, need to charge my battery, I've had everything plugged in and on. Um, but yeah, in my last van I didn't have the power switched, so this unit was lit up the whole time. And as, like I say, I saw in another YouTube video, somebody else doing some wiring, had it on the first switch that side, and I thought, that's a brilliant idea, I'm going to do that, because then you can just have it turned off. Uh, so last weekend when I was away, up to Abbey Moor, I had the fridge all running. I do apologise, it's quite dark here, but... Yep, the fridge was all running, and it's all running good. I had cold cans of juice and some chocolate Yorkie bars. So yeah, this is pretty much it for now. Um, yeah. I've got, I'm needing to get a new gas bottle because that gas bottle was about out but there was a, a little bit of gas in there so I was able to test the cooker, it's all functioning properly um, the only thing I've still got to do regarding this side is I need to get the water pump in the back there, that's going to be screwed into the back um, you can see the wires hanging down for the micro switch uh, that, I'll let you see the tap that's in here um, so yeah the tap just folds up it's all fingerprints and whatnot just now but yeah that's it, it fits in there perfectly, it's a mixer tap and I'm going to have cold water only so I'll put a wee tea piece in and just have it going straight through the cold and it doesn't matter what you do with the tap, it'll just be cold water that comes through um, put a wee bit of decoration up there, that's just stuff that was in my last van um, so yeah, there's room for more sort of decoration in this panel here um, it sort of breaks it up a bit because otherwise it would just be plain white but yeah, this is as far as I've got so far Got the wee portaloo under there as well for day trips away and it's pretty much a functioning day van despite the fact I've got no running water yet Another thing that I wanted to show you um, I can't remember if I put this in any of my other videos but I'll just pop in this one as well uh, The spare wheel which was bouncing about in the back of the van there I didn't have a location for um, and then I realised that it can actually strap on to the side of the seats here um, and there's still room uh, for the door to, to open and close there's also room for me to still get in the van as I can see, as you can see uh, my only issue with it is once the bed's made, the bed's going to come down a wee bit of an overhang so I think what I'm going to do is take this handle off of the side of the seat here because that will allow me to move this wheel all the way back to this uh, section here and that's a good, good little bit of space that will uh, free up some room here for me getting in and out of this side with the wheel still kept in this location um, so yeah, I just wanted to add that in here and show you what I've done with it. Right, something else that I wanted to do as well today um, is make something to cover these big windows at the side of the van. Um, so what I did in my last van, I used some of this insulation stuff uh, and I just made screen covers. Um, all you do is you get yourself some of these like sort of little suction cups you just put a couple on each with them, they just pop up there quite fine and uh, cover the window. So I'm going to get these cut out and um, stick them up there and see how it looks. It looked good in the last van but these windows are actually quite big so we'll see how it looks and take it from there. Right, so I'm just trimming the edges here, um, hopefully I can tuck it in around the window rubber. But the plan is I'm going to do uh, a double layer of this stuff, uh, glue it together with my spray glue, uh, just to make it a wee bit more substantial, because the ones you buy obviously are this thin. So if I just double skin it then it'll be fine for the windows, and I'll just do that both sides. So, here's the wee test to see if it fits. I would say I like a glove, but not quite. It certainly appears to do the job though. I mean obviously like I say that's just one uh, one layer of that stuff. We'll double it up and then we'll put the window poppers on, but yeah, it's definitely gonna work. So there is the finished result, that's two layers of the insulation stuff that you get, um, it's just glued together with this, the glue that you use for the carpet. I've not put any of the suckers on because if you cut it right and it tucks into the window rubbers there, 
uh, you don't really need suckers um, and it still sits in place when you open and close the door which is ideal. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, like I say it's just a quick update on how I'm getting on how the van's progressing. Um, I have hit a few hiccups over the last week, I decided I was going to put my TV in um, but where the bracket was going in the back corner there I couldn't get the screws to go through, it's all metal so I'm going to have to buy some drill bits um, and then fit the fit the bracket that way. I actually thought it was panelled in by uh, building wood to make the frame for the window but it isn't wood, it's all metal by the sounds of things when I'm hitting it with the, the screws. So I'll get some drill bits and then I'll put that TV up on a, at a later date. Um, in the meantime, if we want to watch films, Connie here has uh, got a little portable DVD player that she has so kindly decided that she, she will lend me. So we'll, we'll have that in the van as well, so that'll be quite handy. Um, I'm just going to wrap this up here. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and I'll just keep releasing videos of how the van's going. Uh, obviously there wasn't much in the way of me doing things this, this week. It's just a quick update of what has been done. I've been pretty poor on uh, trying to film things. But like I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more similar videos. Thanks very much. Bye for now.